Okay, so it's been a bit of a rough week. Um, my oldest is sick and it's Thursday and I haven't worked um, this whole week. Haven't been able to get out and work and paint anything and that's been stressing me out. I also showered in like four days, um, covered in baby spit, you know, whatever. It's fine. Um, but I decided to take the babe, look at him back there sleeping, um, for a little drive out to Hamilton because uh, they have one of my favorite art stores here, Curry's. I wish they had one closer. The closest art store to me is Michael's, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it will do when the time is right. But I wanted to, you know, make myself feel better and happier by coming to Curry's because it is one of my favorite art stores. And hopefully I can find some things that spark me with a little bit of joy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in, see what they have, maybe purchase a couple things, and then hopefully find some time maybe this evening to paint and get some videos done because I'm a little stressed because I haven't been able to paint or film anything this week. So that's what we're gonna do today. I hate filming in my car, people are staring at me. Um, awkward. Okay, I'm gonna go in now and yeah, let's go my my. Okay, so as you guys know, I've been really into gouache lately and I finally found this Holbein acrylic gouache that I have seen people use and I have never seen in stores. And look, everything was 15% off, which was great. So I bought myself some and then I got home and played around with some color palettes and painted a few things. So for those of you who do not know what acrylic gouache is, okay, so gouache, just regular gouache is similar to watercolor in the sense that it can be reactivated with water but it kind of has similarities to oh my goodness acrylic <laughs> acrylic paint in the sense that you use more paint right you don't water it down like you do with watercolor acrylic gouache is more like acrylic okay so it's you use the same kind of amount of paint. You're not watering it down. And acrylic gouache is not water soluble. So you cannot reactivate it with water. So why isn't it just called acrylic paint if it's super similar? Well, basically gouache has a very matte kind of flat finish. And that is what this paint has. So it looks like a gouache, but acts like an acrylic paint. So that's kind of why it's called acrylic gouache, I think. Either way, it makes it a little bit easier to, you know, uh, paint with just because it isn't activated with water. So if you do layer, you're not worrying about reactivating the paint underneath, which is one of the tricky parts with regular gouache. So I kind of wanted to try these out. And they also just had some amazing, beautiful colors that I really, really, really wanted to try like these. Um, so that's why I got it. So I don't know if people, I feel like a lot of people have mixed reviews on why does acrylic gouache even exist? If it's super similar to acrylic, you might as just, might as well just paint with acrylic paint. But I don't know. There's something about gouache, the finish, the, the flat matteness of it that I really like. It's very, it's beautiful for illustration and it just kind of catches my eye. And I think that's kind of the drive for people to want to paint with gouache rather than acrylic. A lot of the acrylics I have used have more of like a glossy finish. And this is just more flat, which I like. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. But it's a lot easier to use than regular gouache because like I said, it doesn't reactivate with water. So this is my lemon painting which was super fun to paint. Um, as you guys can tell like by those little paint swatches I have everywhere, I have been really trying to work with um, color palettes and developing my own color palettes instead of, you know, gaining inspiration from other artists or, you know, reference photos. I really want to kind of get myself familiar with color and putting colors together so they pop. So, I did this with my watercolor swatches you guys saw in my video from last week. I made a crap ton of swatches of watercolor um, that I made a chart of, but then I also did it with my gouache. So I did it just with the straight tubes that I bought and then I mixed some colors and created those and I just really wanted to play around with my new gouache and the color palettes that I was coming up with. So. Um, this is what I did. I painted that lemon, which I love the color palette that 
I came up with for that one. Um, and then here I'm painting a cake because actually the day I painted this was my birthday. I posted it on Instagram on my birthday, painted myself a little slice of cake and it looks delicious. <laughs> but again, playing with a fun color palette. I've been really inspired by bright, bold colors lately. Um, maybe because it's summer. I feel like during the winter and the fall, I tend to gravitate a bit more towards muted tones, which those are kind of like seasonal palettes. But this summer, like I've just been on Instagram a lot, looking at other artists, which I can link below, um, who use amazing color palettes. So I've just like, you know what? I really want to do the same. I want to get bright and bold and stop being so afraid to color all the time. So that is kind of what this practice has been. Um, just learning how to use colors together and develop my own color palettes. So that's that. Um, and yeah, so this was, this was a fun little practice. Um, playing with the acrylic gouache, really enjoyed the paint. Um, it was really easy to use because it doesn't reactivate with water and it has that kind of finish that looks like gouache. So I really, really enjoyed it. Um, probably more than regular gouache, but I'm still going to play with the regular uh, Winsor & Newton gouache that I have just so I can develop the skill of using regular gouache because even though it's harder, I still want to get better at it. So I will continue with that, but just for a little bit of playtime with the color and all that stuff, I really enjoyed using the Holbein acrylic gouache. And yeah, that's, that's about that. So now I'm going to leave you to watch the rest of this painting. I really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed doing that kind of dry brush, dry brush technique, as you can kind of see where it looks a little bit more dry. I really, that's one other thing that I really love about gouache. Um, so I just played around with that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the painting. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried acrylic gouache, if you've tried gouache, um, maybe what your favorite paint medium is. Let's start a conversation and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.